What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and why is everyone so interested in the Model Y? I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think I'm, I don't want it. Here's my reason why. <laughs> Model Y. I'm just not sure about the Y yet. I don't, I really like what I've done to the Model 3 and it's, you can barely, you can see some of the zebra stripes here. I'm having fun with the Model 3 and from the photos that have come out lately about the Model Y, it looks just like the same thing. It's hard to tell the difference really. It's up on, it's up a little bit higher. I'm, I'm kind of curious, do you guys like the Y? Are you waiting for the Y? Do you have a Model 3? Are you looking to trade in your Model 3 for the Y? I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking about that lately because of all the cars being driven around California now, road testing them, it seems like they're probably going to be in production and start delivering the first few, probably the end of quarter number one of 2020, by the end of March. If Tesla can actually do that, if they, Tesla's never made a deadline. I think if Tesla was to make a watch, I think the watch would be late. It would never show the exact time. So for them to actually be on time and beat the time for the Model Y, I think that's huge. My concern is that the Y is 75% the Model 3. So is it really an upgrade or is it really something that a lot of people are gonna jump from the, the 3 to the Y? Do I need to get a Model Y for the channel? I don't know, I could just put a lift kit on this. I just lowered it, but I could put a lift kit on it and no one would know. It looks just like the Y. I mean, the, the nice thing is about the Y, when I went to the Model Y event, the, it's a little bit bigger. It's taller, so you sit up higher, so you get into the car a lot like an SUV. Well, we have the Model X now, so I don't really need that. But it's the same aesthetics on the inside. Yes. Oh, all right. It's just like a tall Model 3, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Relax, relax, relax. I got this. <laughs> Gonna take you on a little tour in the Model Y. You may have noticed that you're sitting a little higher, and it's also easier to get in and out. But also I, I, I like, gives you a better view of the road in front of you. I like the, the height of the windows in the seats. Yeah. And notice also the big piece of glass here. That's nice, right? Um, Look the screen. That's a really nice piece of glass. Look gives it. lots of daylight. Wow. But also... Is it just, is it just me or is it like, does it feel slightly bigger than the 3? Yes, yeah, so it's definitely bigger than the 3. Well, the screen though? No, hey, the baby, screen is the same. Maybe sit back, babe. Yeah. Of course, it has the same motor power and acceleration <laughs> as the Model 3. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. And the same low center of gravity. So, it's a really nicely handling car. <laughs> Very little body roll, nice, comfortable, not hard ride. Passenger row. Mm -hmm. Does this have the third row? Uh, yeah, this, it does. Yes, this has the third row. But is that uh, that's adult a, size? Or? That's an optional uh, feature. Turn that light on. For, for adult mm -hmm. passengers. For adult passengers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they disabled it. And so. the supercharging, is that mm -hmm. always pay? Yes. Or that's uh, starting with Model 3 last year, that's now paid. <laughs> Those on the rear seat, if you could please leave on the left side. Okay. On the left side? On the left side, so that other customers can come in on the right side. Sure, gotcha. And then you can go well, on the left, on the uh, right side. Thank you for the drive. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. You too. And this is... Welcome back. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh goodness. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. If you could please put on your seat. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you all? 
Cool. Well, welcome to the model ride, model ride test ride. Thank you. This goes. If you own a Model 3, you may have already noticed that you're sitting a little higher. It's a nicer view on the roads, but also easier to get in and out of the vehicle. And of course, if you look up, it's a really nice yeah, glass it's roof. Glass. It's still very well protected for solar radiation. It, uh, technology that we are already using in Model X and Model 3. And of course the same punch and performance like Model 3 vehicles. This is rear wheel? This is the all-wheel drive, uh, but not the performance version. Okay. Yeah. Still very low center of gravity, handles really nice. To the power lift gate? Yes, you will have a parallel game. Okay. Let's get built your vehicle today. Place an order. Yeah, I just did actually. You did? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you all for, for joining us today. Ooh, Alcantara. Is that going to be a thing? Uh, or? Maybe. <laughs> Controversy there. Thank you. Thank you. Second row. Thank you. Sir, sir, I'm sorry, you cannot walk okay. in front of the vehicle. All right. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Again, you sit up higher. It's going to be a little bit more comfortable uh, for long trips, but it's not going to be as fun to drive on the track because the center of gravity is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be like driving the Model X. The Model X is a big vehicle. Uh, I want to see, I, I think I need to see the car in person. I, I need to see another one before I actually commit to mine. I did place an order for a performance Model Y at the Model Y event. I've changed that now a bunch of times just to see the price differences and I'm not sure if it's worth the money to, to sell this because Tesla won't take it in on trade. I've done too many weird things to it. I'd have to sell it to one of you guys, which that could be an option. But to jump from this to the model, a $70,000 Model Y performance, I don't know if it's worth that. I wonder if I should just save that and put it towards a pickup truck. With the pickup truck coming around the corner here in November, we're supposed to have a, a truck event. Uh, you know, should I just wait for the truck? I don't know. Do I need a truck? There's so many questions. Why? Karen seems to think I need the Y for the channel. She thinks I'll be happier in the Y. Uh, gives me more of a canvas, gives me more of something to work with these same companies for. Uh, so I'm kind of leaning towards that way. I do like the Y. I liked the Y at the Model Y event. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of, I'm on the scale here. Do we get the Y, lose some money because I paid extra for this car because it was uh, fairly early. Prices have come way down. Actually, they don't even make this anymore. So I'm curious what you guys think. Leave that in the comments below. Because here's the thing, if I get a Model Y, I'm probably gonna lower it. So it's gonna be the same height as a stock Model 3. Um, if I get a performance that's gonna be fun, uh, is it gonna be good for the track? I don't go to the track very much, so I, we can cancel that part out. 20 inch wheels, I can put 20s on the, on the three. I'm talking to myself out of this. I shouldn't be talking to myself out of this, but uh, the pickup truck, it, it may look weird. It may look really weird, but I guess we'll find out next month anyway. I'm just spitballing here. This is not my normal video, but like I said, I need to see the car in person. Hopefully when I go out to LA next, next month, hopefully I get to see one driving around, maybe at a supercharger, and then really take a look at it again. Because at the Model Y event, it's very dark. They always do this at the, at the events, so you can't get really good details because it's a prototype. And we kind of already know what it looks like. It's, there's gonna be more and more pictures out there of the Model Y. Now that it's been driven all over the place, but we kind of know what it looks like. It is the Model 3, just taller. A little bit more storage, just a little bit heavier. Does it look as good as the Model 3? That's the question. I think it looks a little bit more feminine. It, I mean, the Model 3 kind of looks feminine. Depends what you do to it. You know, I've kind of 
I've kind of done a little different, uh, got a little different approach on mine, but I bought this for $55,000. Uh, now you can get these a lot cheaper. Uh, well, they don't make this, but now you, I can get a Stealth Performance for the same price I got this. A Model Y Performance is gonna be right around $69,000, $70,000. That's a lot. Do I even need the Performance? Is that gonna be a long wait? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna jump on it, I'm gonna jump on it early, so I'm probably gonna get a rear wheel drive Model Y again. I'm confused. Why? Leave your thoughts down below. I'm curious to what you guys are doing with yours. Tell me if you have a Model 3 and you're going to the Model Y or if you've already waited for the Y so long or whatever, or you're keeping your 3 and the wife's gonna get the Y. You know, let me know down below. I, I'm, I'm very curious. I still haven't made up my mind. Karen's kind of made up her mind. She wants me to get it, but just not sure. That, that turned off again. I got a motion sensor over here. I got the thing on a motion sensor. That, uh, Tony Pham made that for me. As soon as you walk in here, it pops on. I think that's really cool. Tony's an awesome guy. He's done a lot for the channel. And if you'd like to do something for the channel, um, I have a Patreon wall back here. If you'd like to help out the channel, there's a link at the end of the video, but there's also a link down below. I'm changing it up a little bit. I had that, I, had, I set up that Patreon for this garage and this garage is awesome. And thank you to everyone that has helped build this garage and helped build this channel and get it bigger and better. Uh, I'm now transitioning to what's behind this glass wall. This is not a showroom, kinda is, but it, back here is going to be a studio area. I'm gonna continue the same theme into that garage area because this whole so this section of the building is, actually, is a three car length garage. I'm gonna have different charging spots. I'm gonna have both Teslas down here. Um, that's gonna be a great area where we can have guests on the channel. We can do better unboxings and a little bit more room to stretch out a little bit. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Why? Because I love doing this. See ya.